go back to that Wisconsin game and how you guys were able to shut down them against the run. What's going to stand out to you now that you're a couple weeks removed from it? Yeah, uh, just kind of the whole season, uh, just have been building on it since back in spring ball, fall camp, just really uh, being one of our points of emphasis for the whole season, wanting to stop the run. Uh, feel like tough teams can stop the run and run the football, and Wisconsin's done a great job of that for a long time and this season. And so we knew it was going to be a big challenge coming in, and that's just something we like to pride ourselves on is being able to run the football and stop the run. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was a great day. It was awesome. Uh, whole collective team effort on the defensive side, but, yeah, it was awesome. When you made the jump from Abilene Christian to here and now that you've got one game left, did you accomplish everything that you wanted to when you initially put your name into the portal? Yeah, I mean, it's been uh, like I was I was nervous when I was putting my name in the portal. I was like, I wasn't sure if anybody was going to offer me or like what was going to happen. I didn't really know what to expect. And uh, it's it's been it's been a blast. It's been a crazy ride this past year. And um, yeah, I can't thank the coaches here enough for taking a chance on me and the team for kind of accepting me and stuff. But yeah, this this season went was was something I'll look back on the rest of my life and be super, super happy that I took that bet on myself back then. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a blast. West Virginia has a really good screen game. What are some of the keys defensively to slowing that down? Yeah, they've got really good athletes out at wide receiver, a bunch of guys that can play. Um, and they, they do a really good job in the screen game. It's going to be big in getting into the tips on kind of being able to anticipate that, knowing what to expect. And then just watching uh, film with, with some detail on like watching their linemen on how they set, if they set differently, watching the backs or the uh, wide receivers on if they have different footwork on the screen plays, just kind of narrowing in on those details as we get closer to game time uh, from a anticipation and after the snap recognition standpoint will be big for us for sure. This will be your first bowl experience. What, what are you looking forward to in that? Yeah, I'm super excited. I've never never been able to do this. Usually I'm sitting at home uh, already this time. So uh, just excited to go out to Arizona, spend time with the guys, and uh, play one last game with these guys. I'm super excited for that. Just kind of any opportunity to play football is exciting. So, Kind of independent of what Ryan Sapp said this weekend, what was he like as a, as a teammate and a player at Evelyn? Yeah, I mean, I loved playing with him. From the second he stepped on campus, we knew he was a, he was going to be a great player. I, I mean, and that was evident. He was a freshman All-American. But uh, guys got a just incredibly hard worker, great leader. He kind of stepped in and earned everybody uh, everybody's trust, especially like the older guys from right away. Uh, a lot of times, like a guy kind of like Justin Wally, like young guy comes in, is going to have to play a big role. The guys are like unsure. But when a guy comes in and works really hard and uh, is a high character guy and just somebody who comes and gets after it every day, they earn people's trust really quickly. And he was definitely a guy like that. Uh, kind of reminds me of the season Justin had this year. But yeah, it was a blast playing with him. I think he's going to be a great fit here. Which young linebackers have stood out to you as they've been developing behind the scenes? Yeah, definitely. Uh, since as we've been into this bowl prep, it's been a lot more downtime. Coaches haven't really been around as much, but I've definitely seen uh, Lucas Finnessy and Devin Williams, kind of guys that are kind of waiting in the wings, next in line, uh, looking for their opportunity, and we'll get that in spring ball to come in and uh, compete for more reps. Those guys have been working really hard, uh, getting an extra meeting um, with the with with the coaches like on their own time, doing the extra work to kind of learn the playbook and kind of get ready to take that next step. So those guys have been really impressive lately. How much pride do you guys take in that you ended the season number four in total defense? I mean, yeah, that's that we take a lot of pride in that. Like all the uh, postseason stuff is is cool, but that's that's the one that I think that we take the most pride in is the team defense stats, the rushing stats, the uh, points per game, yards per game, kind of the ones that kind of I feel like that kind of tells kind of who you are as a defense. And uh, we said all year, like, don't really worry about any of the outside stuff and just put your head down and keep playing and we'll uh, look up at the end of the season and see where we're at. And uh, yeah, really proud of the work that we did to kind of finish where we did. What is playing with uh, Mariano meant to you this year? Yeah, I, I love playing with him. He plays the game incredibly hard. I mean, it's, anybody who watches can see that he flies around all over the place, plays incredibly hard. He's a great leader. He works really hard in his preparation. That's something that I've really benefited from is being able to kind of watch film together, bounce ideas off each other, prepare together. And then, yeah, out on the field, just being able to talk, communicate about what we're seeing, what to expect. And then, yeah, it's fun playing with guys who play really hard. And we got a lot of them on the defense, but he kind of sets that tone, um, just flying around and uh, getting in on every single play. It's, it's been awesome. They talk about his, his intelligence, his intellect. So you as the guy starting alongside of him, when you hear that, what does that actually mean for maybe some of us who don't know? 
Yeah, it's just kind of getting past where we're talking about our assignment and we're talking more about what what they're doing, what what to expect if they do this, this is how we can respond. Just kind of talking through and thinking about what, what the offense has been doing to have success, what they might do to try against us later, and then how we can respond to that. So that way, when it comes time to make those adjustments, we're not having to spend a lot of time on that. We're talking through those in advance um, during the week and then during series throughout the game to where we can just throw stuff in on the fly. And I mean, Coach Rossi is super, super brilliant. So um, both me and Mariano liking to kind of think on a high level like that and talk about that stuff during the week. We'll be installing the game plan for the, during the week. And he'll be saying, now I don't know if they're going to do this, but if they do this, this is what we'll do. And we'll just put that in um, like on the fly on the field. And we're like, all right, cool. And we've already thought about that. And so it's just, uh, it makes it makes things easier to kind of make those adjustments in game and uh, kind of know what to expect and be more anticipatory on the field instead of just reacting. How often do you guys have those kind of what ifs as part of the side of the game? I mean, it's just kind of, I mean, pretty much every week there's at least something that, like, as we're installing it, he's like, we might see this. If they do this, this will be our answer. If, or this is what we're going to do, but if they're giving us problems, we'll do this. And we've got a couple things we've always, let's talk about, there's always an escape to whatever they're going to give us. We'll, we'll find something to, we're just not going to let them keep hurting us the same way. So we're always thinking about what could happen and uh, how we're going to adjust to it. What is a typical film room session with Coach Rossi like? <laughs> I mean, uh, do, like kind of post game, pre game. What do you or like? Uh, uh, yeah, he. I mean, he does little grade sheets for us, but uh, I, you can tell he's kind of focused more big picture on the whole defense. So, uh, like, they're not very, not as super detailed because he's thinking about everything else. But we just get in there and run through every play, and he's 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 going high level, talking about the entire defense, not just the linebackers. I mean, we're watching it as linebackers, but he's telling us how he wants the defensive back position played on that on that play or the defensive line or what he liked and didn't like about everybody on the field just giving us the whole whole breakdown of uh how everything works together and i think that's important as a linebacker because we're part of the run fits and the pass coverage and stuff and so just knowing what everybody else's job around you makes you uh better at doing your job so i appreciate that Rossi talked about how maybe a light's come on for Braylon Oliver in the last few weeks of the season there. You've been with him for 12 months since he was recovering from the injury to where he is today. How Do you think he's right that something has changed for him, whether he trusts himself now or what that may be? Yeah, I, I definitely can see. I've definitely seen it. We kind of saw a difference as the season got on. I don't know if it was just he got more comfortable with his leg um, or what it was, but just everything from his preparation to the way he played on the field, it was carrying over. Uh, he started being really, really, really detailed in practice, really taking, uh, paying attention to like the tips and stuff we were getting and really carrying that over to the field. And it was awesome to see because he was putting in the work off the field and to see it sign of, kind of continue to grow and grow and grow and build on each other. And he was playing at a really, really high level at the end of the season. So hopefully we can, I, I mean, I, I've no doubt that he's going to carry that forward. But yeah, I definitely saw it continue to build. And I think a lot of it was just his confidence and uh and that his leg was strong and ready to go and that he could still uh, play at the level he was before. How would you describe the personalities in that linebacker room? Uh, it's kind of like a, a big mixed bag. I mean, everybody's kind of got their different personalities, different things that make them tick. But I will say that that group, uh, room is not afraid of hard work and all the guys in there um, come ready to work every day. And Coach Rossi demands a lot out of us and everybody steps up and uh, answers that bell. So I think that's kind of the one connecting thing that we all have. Everybody's a little bit different, but a lot of guys that want to work and uh, want to play good defense. So it's fun to be with them. And John Michael Schmidt is uh, now he's coming back next year. What what impact uh, do you, have you seen with him when you've played against him? Yeah, he's uh, he's a mauler. When he gets his hands on you, it's hard to get off. And uh, really enjoyed playing against him in spring and fall camp and stuff. And um, he's a he's a really really physical player, really smart player. And uh, I think. I'm super excited for him to get back and have one more go at it. I mean, yeah, any chance that you can get to come back and play more football? I wish I could come back. So, <laughs> but I'm happy for him. I, I know he'll have a great season. And uh, yeah. We have any more? Right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jeff.